Oksana is a contemporary artist based in Canada. Although she travels all over the world creating private commissions and incredibly vibrant murals, she is active in the global art scene from exhibitions to art festivals to creative community projects. I absolutely love Oksana's work. It's really interesting. Her work, for some reason, reminds me of the... It's, some of it really reminds me of uh, Giorgio O'Keefe and there's just something so delicious and rich and deep and vibrant in her work. Her, when I look at her work, her work really speaks to me and pulls me in and there's so much going on in each piece that she creates. What I find really fascinating firstly about Oksana as an artist um, is she considers herself to not be that active in the global art scene and I find that fascinating because you only have to watch her on social media or actually you know get to know her and see how she lives her life and she is super active <laughs> she is always um giving her time to community projects, collaborating as and when she's asked to, which is very often, if you watch her social media, she's very, very active, moving from one place to another, um, just spontaneously creating um, with other artists, with other projects. She runs life drawing classes. Um, she does private commissions. She's doing her own work. Uh, she traveled to England recently and teamed up with Kim from the gallery and they did some um, spontaneous work together. So for me, she really is really active in the global art scene. She, you know, she's moving and traveling across the world. She's, she's based in Canada. And if you look at her as an artist, for me, she's like a queen bee. She emanates that sovereignty of her knowing of her creativity and it just people just are drawn to her literally just she is like this queen bee that is emanating just this visual language that is is so powerful and expressive and I find her particularly fascinating as an artist watching how you know that interesting theory that she has about herself that she's not that active and she's not that active in the global scene and and watching her how active she is um it makes me question if she thinks this isn't active i can't wait to see what she thinks is active because like i say for me as an artist looking at her as another artist what i see in her is absolutely this honeybee archetype this queen bee of creativity that's emanating and radiating out this visual language that's super strong, has a rich tapestry, there's a lot going on in her work and people just radiate towards her and she's just living in that flow of creativity and it comes to her and she's moving with it and she's create. and I absolutely adore that when I see an artist living, breathing, their creative field, their creative work, living and breathing as they are created and born to be this emanating juicy person of colour, form, language. So her as an artist, I find her absolutely fascinating to watch. As a person, she is so, so interesting and she's got the, this amazing sense of humor, great passion, great clarity, great confidence. I really enjoy my interactions with Oksana. And like I say, as an artist, I find her absolutely fascinating, refreshing, inspiring, super vibrant. And then if we look at her work, wow. I, what I love about Oksana is she, she's breaking down the molds and breaking down the blocks of what what box does she fit into 
um, she is just free. That's how I see it. She's just free and she moves between painting on walls, painting on the floor, painting on canvas, teaching life drawing, working with clients, working for just herself. I just see that for me, she is the, you know, she, from a fellow artist to another artist, I recognize that she is, as I do, lives and breathes her art. She's a fellow embodiment of the life that can truly happen as an artist. So anything is possible with Oksana. She is definitely one to watch over these next 12 months. I have absolutely no idea how and where she is going to develop. So with some artists, it's very clear and you can see where their edge is and you just want to stretch them over this way a bit more or guide them that way. But with Oksana, she's like a wild stallion and I just want to let her free to just roam for 12 months and see what madness and craziness and beauty comes out. Because there is definitely something in her work for me that talks about scale. Playing with scale of visual language, playing with the platform of art, the platform of interaction with art. So for me, her work really, that's the bit where I'm looking this year to watch how she develops. That would be the only area that I will watch to see is how she plays with scale in relationship to the viewer and the actual experience of the art. Now for me, her art, its form, its color, absolutely, like all pieces of art, has its own language. And I'm really, really interested to watch how she plays with that in particular, the language of her work with scale in relationship to the viewer. So I'm not sure if she's aware yet about the impact of different scales of her work. Um, and if she's really aware of how it's really impacting the public and it's impacting people that come into contact with it, I think she's very much just in her flow and creating these incredible pieces, <clears throat> excuse me, from inside with absolutely just abandonment of what anyone thinks of it. She's just liberated in that, in that sense, which I adore and I appreciate and I, and I recognize. Um, it's so important to get to that place with your work where you just create because you're just creating and you know, you know damn well that that's your thing. And so I'm just, the only thing I'd love to see over these next 12 months is what happens if she makes a very defined contact with the power and impact of scale within her work. So when I talk about scale, I'm, you know, I'm talking about whether it's blown up huge on a wall, whether it's very tiny little painting, talking about the experience that it gives the viewer dependent on its size, whether it's engulfing the viewer, whether it's, you know, and the, and the viewer is bathing in, and encapsulated in the complete painting, or whether the viewer is looking down to a smaller, you know, piece of the painting. Um, I'm very fascinated too, to watch how she works over the next 12 months in her community projects and then how she, and, and then how she reigns that in and in her own personal studio practice. So I'm very interested in that with Oksana's work, the, um, the scaling, as in the way she presents it and the way that she works with her impact of scale for the viewer's experience. And then her own journey of experiencing the scale of her work on global and community and then pulling the scale in just for her own work in the studio. So that's why I'm looking this year in these next 12 months working with Oksana to, that's what I'm gonna be looking for, to see where her journey develops in those, in those realms of scale and um, her understanding of the viewer's experience of her work and her own experience of her work. Because like I say, she's so free and so such a, pleasure to 
you know, watch and witness her creating her work because it's just so, so liberating to watch someone create like that, that I'm very fascinated if she's aware. I haven't had this conversation with her yet, but I'm very fascinated if she's aware of her, her understanding or her need, if any, to understand or hear the viewer's experience. I'm really interested in, in if that even registers as something that Oksana wants to explore or not. So I'm really, really fascinated about Oksana as an artist and her work. And I'm super excited to work with her over these next 12 months to really understand um, her as a person, her as an artist, and really work with her for the next 12 months. And just, you know, I feel so blessed that Oksana's in, in the gallery because she really shows what it's like to live and breathe your art. And like with any of these journeys, sometimes there's challenges and they're not, they're not easy and sometimes they just really flow. But she's so active in her creativity, um, living and breathing it, that I'm really fascinated to watch how she develops over the next 12 months and work with her over the next 12 months to, yeah, just it's just going to be an incredible journey with Oksana. So check out her work um, on the website, check her out on social media, watch her, interact with her. She's an incredible person. Um, and I can't wait to share with you the interview that um, I'll be doing with Oksana to really get into these, you know, I'm going to be asking her these kind of questions um, that I'm really fascinated about her work. So, uh, yeah, check her out, keep an eye on her. And um, she's definitely, definitely one to watch and start collecting.